the sun in all its mesmerizing splendor. Our light, our lives, everything we do is controlled by the sun, depends on it. It's the Greek god Helios driving his chariot across the sky. The Egyptian god Ra reborn every day. The summer solstice sun rising at Stonehenge. For millions of years, this was as close as it got to staring into the face of God. It's so far away. If it burned out, we wouldn't know about it for eight minutes. It's so big, you could fit one million Earths inside it. But who needs numbers? We've got the real thing. We see it every day, a familiar face in our sky. Now, up close, it's unrecognizable. The turbulent sea of incandescent gas. The thermometer pushes 10,000 degrees. Can't imagine how hot the core is. Could be tens of millions of degrees. Hot enough to transform millions of tons of matter into energy every second. More than all the energy ever made by mankind dwarfing the power of all the nuclear weapons on Earth. Back home, we use this energy for light and heat. But up close, there's nothing comforting about the sun. Its electrical and magnetic forces erupt in giant molten gas loops. Some are larger than a dozen Earths, more powerful than 10 million volcanoes. burst through, they expose cooler layers below, making sunspots. A fraction cooler than their surroundings, sunspots look black, but they're hotter than anything on Earth, and massive, up to 20 times the size of Earth. stop. The sun's fuel will be spent. And when it dies, the earth will follow. This god creates life, destroys it, and demands we keep our distance. <laughs> 